What's up everyone, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Transformers MP04 Autobot Intelligence Specialist Masterpiece Prowl. And this is the US version, the Hasbro version. As you can see, it's a pretty big box. The box itself is quite nice. It has a sleeve that they've been putting on the US Masterpiece that goes over the actual box and it does have the glossy faction logo that kind of sticks up a bit. You can actually feel it with your hand and it's got a matte finish on the back. And if we take a look around here, you do see uh, Optimus Prime's trailer with Prowl sticking out and the police car mode and the robot mode. Then we'll go ahead and do a quick size comparison. Here is a Takara size. This is not uh, the Prowl figure, but it's the same size. It's a Silver Streak figure, but it's the same size as the Prowl Takara box. So you can see the box is pretty much twice as big, more than twice as big. And here's the difference in width. So we're going to go ahead and open this up so we can see the inside here. It's got a nice little hole you can put your finger in to pull it out. And we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and apparently he is boxed here sideways. Which is kind of strange, instead of up and down like this. But, I don't know, I guess they have their reasons. But we're going to pull this tray out. As you can see, it's a lot of wasted space. I don't know if this is their way of making the figure look like it's a $70 figure by putting it in a bigger box and then whoever buys it is like, oh, what the hell, whatever. But uh, yeah, so this is the tray. This is the instruction booklet, which is your typical fold-out uh, Transformers instruction booklet in black and white and red. All right, so we're going to pop the figure out of the tray. Just have to pop these things off here all around the tray and grab Prowl. We'll go ahead and grab his little gun also. Put all the trays off to the side here. And as you can see here, he uh, just at first glance is identical to the Takara. Uh, but we are going to compare him to the Takara here in a second, but let's take a moment to take a look at him all the way around. Next thing I want to do is add the gun here to his hand. We'll go ahead and pop that in. Let's see if this holds. Nah, it's pretty much identical to the Takara. just won't really plug in, but you can just sort of squeeze the uh, hand around it. And speaking of Takara, here is the Takara version. I've been trying to find some major differences, but I can't. The only thing that really stands out is right on the inside of the foot. You'll see this one has a CE logo, and it does say uh, Hasbro down at the bottom. And the Takara one doesn't have any kind of printing there. And just for fun, we're going to include the KO, just so we have all three versions here. All right, and as we move along, we just want to check out to see if there's any kind of loose joints anywhere. This one uh, is not loose anywhere. Uh, everything seems to stay in place wherever you want to put it, so articulation is just as firm as the other ones that I have. Uh, the only nitpick would be, uh, you know, if I'm going to spend, which is, by the way, this is an expensive figure, uh, for being a US release, it is $70, guys. $70. With that, you can pretty much get the Takara version with the, uh, what do you call it, the little shoulder rockets there for about that same price. But if you absolutely have to have the Hasbro version, make sure you have $70 set aside for a figure uh, just with the plainest of accessories. Um, so, what I was getting at is for this price, you know, I do want it to be completely perfect. It does have the red from these little. Uh, spikes here on his head on the white piece this little crest piece that goes in the front of the head It's probably hard to see but it does have Paint just spread on there like whoever was brushing it on You know decided to get some on the head and it's not a big deal on a $70 toy So what I'd like to do next is put him in vehicle mode And it's the same transformation again guys because it is the same exact figure as all the other molds I've reviewed of the Nissans, but if you're here specifically for the Hasbro one, let's do it all right I'm going to do this real quick. It actually is a pretty fun transformation. I love the design of the transformation on this, and I love Nissans, so this is awesome. I used to love looking at, there's actually a, a shop by me as a kid that worked on Z's, so I would always see like uh, Z's with rims and all these crazy body kits from Japan. Every time I skateboarded past, I always figured I'd end up getting a Z, you know, as an adult, but uh, never happened, but who knows, maybe at some point. All right, and... Like I said, I really like this transformation. It's uh, 
it's not like overly overly complicated it's it's just right and it looks great in both modes it actually does look like it jumped out of the screen and then in vehicle mode it really does look like a Z and we are almost there let me just get these uh, hands where they're supposed to be fix these doors I always forget these little fender pieces so you can see the uh, rear views are on the fenders. A lot of Japanese sports cars had them that way, and non-sports cars, just a lot of Japanese cars had them that way. This is always the tricky part for me, is just getting all this aligned right. Let's see if I can do this correctly. And here we have them in vehicle mode. Uh, it looks very nice. It, like I said, it looks great in vehicle mode as it does in robot mode. It's a nice little... Nissan Z here and uh, we also got the gun here which you can attach to the top of the car by folding this down you'll see this little tab comes out and you just push it right behind the light bar and there you got it a armed Nissan it all comes down to whether or not you want the Hasbro version which is seventy dollars or if you happen to find the import cheaper that may be the route to go but in any case awesome figure no differences between the two of that's a concern of yours overall great great transformer so that's it guys if you have any questions and comments please leave them below until next time bye bye